Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CG of video. Today I created this cool 2D cartoonish explosion in UE 5.4 Niagara. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this tutorial. So first thing I will make a material and I'll make a M arc. arc. And in this material, I'll make a arc shape. So this will be translate and to side material. I'll take a radial and this is the radial I have. Then I'll take one more and I'll make a I'll make this a little sharper. This is very like faded. So I'll make a parameter and connect to the density of both. Let's make it 50. So now these two are same. Okay, but I can make this one a little smaller or maybe I can just offset it. So if I take two vector and connect to here, right now this is here 0 0.5, 0 0.5, make it into the center because this is 0 to 1. That means 0 0.5 in the center. This is 0 to 1. That means 0 0.5 in the center. So this is the center. So I can offset it a little bit on the Y. Like I can make it 0 0.6 or something then this is in the center and this is offset it so if i subtract from this to this i will have an arc like this and this depends how much you want the thickness so if i make this like 0.55 it will be lessness so i think this is okay and this is density you can reduce maybe 30 for the weightness the next thing what you can do you can take a noise texture like this one i'll take here and because this is not like distorted this is like flat first you need to make this like these arcs so i'll just take a vector to radial and this will make it follow coordinates and to to say to fix this seam here we can just make it a flavor and to make the tiling you can just multiply it with a two vector and just connect this here so i'll make it one and three i guess or maybe two so i have this tiling so if i multiply this noise with the arc i have so i will have this thing you can increase this maybe four and then you can take one more power here so you can see it has this variation you can also add pen if you want but i'll not so i'll just make a particle color and i'll just multiply this thing with a particle color you can directly connect it here also or you can just use it and i'll also use it in the alpha so i'll have this cut okay and also to randomize this thing in a, every particle you can make a dynamic parameter or you can just multiply it with a particle random if you just search the random you will find this particle random so every particle will have a random thing or you can just make a dynamic parameter or multiply it multiply this ratio of tiling then you can little variation you can add so i'll just make it a tile so that's it for in this material so i'll just save it then yeah, i'll right click and duplicate this material and i'll call it m strict and this strict i will uh, i need a strict so what i'll do first thing take a texture coordinate and multiply by two and sub sorry two subtract one so you will have your uvs in the center so by default it is from here and now it is from here then you can take the shift c for the mask and i'll just take the red channel so i have this negative this positive if i'll take the absolute both will be positive and in center we have zero then slightly gradually increasing the values then i want to make a, a like a strict so a conical shape so what i can do if i subtract uh from this 
any value like 0.2 this will increase the thickness of this black strip so that means if i take a gradient which goes black to white top to bottom and i subtract this thing it will make it conical and you can multiply with a little value if you want for the thickness and then i want this uh, cone shape in the white so i will invert this and make it power and and to 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 fix the brightness over brightness i'll just take a saturation and i'll just increase this so i will have this and to make this thing very like zero like pinpoint what you can do you can add some values here before subtract like 0.1 so you have this and this at 0 0.05 so you have this then like i use this noise texture to multiply with arc i need to use this noise texture again to multiply with this shape i don't need this radial so i will just delete and i don't need this thing but i need to like make this thing uh, like a conical shape so what you can do like you have um, this uh you have this what do you say uh, uv so what you can say you can take append and this is the red channel going through here and this is the green channel and i have this uv now i think we can use it from here if you want let's try or maybe just from here let's try so if i multiply it for so the tiling and connect and if i preview let me check i think it should it should work from here so i just paused video and now this is my setting so i'm using it after subtracting then i'm tiling it so it is like this shape and now if you multiply this noise with your like this cone shape you will have this thing we have that noise and that's it you can just use the for the tiling you can use this parameter again here and that's it so i'll just save it So let's make a Niagara and I'll take the fountain FX. Inside the FX, I have this fountain. So I don't need gravity, I don't need form velocity, I need point. And this thing we can do like 50. Life maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.4, velocity maybe 100 and 300. Yeah. So now if I use this arc material in this and make this little, uh, let's use dynamic parameter, make it 1 and let's use the size maybe of that and 50, I don't need this. And also this should be velocity aligned. So these are now facing this. Cool. You can increase like alpha. To make it more bright okay and i think we can make some randomness and also i can take a size so 0.5 it will be for one initially it will be zero and also it should fade after 0.5 like this then we need to add those spikes into it we need to add a spike so i'll just rename this and this is my arc and i'll take one more sprite render and i'll rename this this is my string in the string i'll use this string material okay and also this should be velocity aligned and these should be aligned here on the top of my arc so that means you need to offset it like 1.5 
So 1.4, 1.48, 1.48. These are perfectly aligned and now this looks cool. So I'll just delete this and I'll take the burst and make it just once. And let's make it like 50 particles. So this looks cool. So if I stop it on this frame, you can see this cool thing. I'll make the velocity like more random. And in the dynamic parameter, you can just randomize this thing a little bit like 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, sorry. So if I stop it on this frame, you can see this look really like a cool explosion. If I just make it full screen, see this cool explosion I have, cartoonish explosion. So that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. You can find this file on my Patreon as usual. So bye.